Hi guys, another Grandad's Junk Pile project. You might have seen I took this motor out of my quad fan hovercraft. There was four in there, three of them were burnt out, but this one seems to be okay. So I'm going to use that. use this toy boat that I've used for a simple radio control boat in the past. I don't know if you can see in the corners there, there's two holes. I had a twin motor radio control boat controlled by variable thrust. It worked, but not terribly well. But I'm thinking of making this into a uh, airboat as you call it, one with a big fan on it, so I'll just chop that up and fit it up there, that's a convenient place to fit it. We'll make it radio controlled, so to control it, instead of an ESC, I'm going to use this, which is the circuit board from inside a servo that I've modified with a couple of resistors so we can use it to control that motor we'll actually get forward and reverse out of it which will be convenient I'll put a fan not a fan, I'll put a rudder on the back of it so that we can steer it now I'll get it so it's the, the air from the fan that's pushing the rudder instead of having the rudder down in the water. To make sure it doesn't sink I shall fill this with some expanding foam and probably put a little bit of weight in the bottom of it to keep it upright because otherwise it will be unbalanced with all the thrust at the very top here. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. I'll need to put a servo there as well. Rather like the one on this boat. That's the one that moves the little water jet on the back there and steers this boat. These are cheap plastic toys from 99p store. Haven't seen them yet this year. They're sort of a summer item. So that's what we'll do anyway. I'll get on and fill that with some expanding foam. Out in the garden, got my expanding foam. What I'm going to do is tape the top on, because otherwise it will pop off. If I can find the beginning of my tape. There we go. I'll tape, tape it at the back first so that I can squirt the foam inside and then I'll tape the front down as well. There's plenty of little air gaps in there for the foam to expand all the way. It does suggest wearing gloves as well in case you're um, allergic to the chemicals. Right, I know I've put too much in there, because I always do.
Right, we'll just leave that, come back in a few hours time and clean it up. There we are, the foam has expanded and set. I've eased it off so I can get the lid off and interestingly enough some of that hasn't set properly. I've trimmed it up now and I've put some water in there to try and cure the remains of the foam. That's not a big problem because I'm going to need to put a hole in there somewhere for the receiver and the battery to go. Decide how we're going to mount the motor. I think what I'll use is two pack epoxy just to glue it straight onto the plastic. I'm holding the motor in place with a bit of blue tack now I'll mix up some two-pack epoxy and liberally cover it. Just trying to align this by eye. I've made use of the fact that the foam hadn't expanded properly in the middle there. I've put the end of one of these old iron bolts in there, nut and a bolt, to give us a bit of ballast at the bottom so it shouldn't tip over quite so easily. And moving along, I've got the motor sitting here as planned. I've got a servo glued straight into the back of the boat here. I've got a receiver set up here. It's currently running off this little battery pack, four AAA batteries. So that's giving it 4.8 volts. That's our ESC in effect. That's the circuit board from inside one of those servos and I don't know if we can see this in the camera so we've got forwards in reverse and we've also got the steering and the idea is I'm just going to hot glue that bit of styrofoam plate straight on top of the servo arm so that it directs the fan. I'm thinking of sealing this in two-pack epoxy so it's waterproof. I gave it a good coating of two-pack epoxy and then I've just folded some sticky tape around it to hold it together while it sets. All up together, you may notice I've changed the propeller to a slightly larger one. I haven't tried it with the smaller one so I don't know whether the larger one's better or not. The, the receiver is just tucked in the front there. I really want to put a plastic bag on it if we take it out into the lake or anything like that. But we've got the motor set up, we've got the servo, So I guess I could put a little bit of water in the bottom of the bath so we can test it tonight. Got some water in the bath. Boat floats, that's a good start. That's what I like, a nice gentle boat.
steering works. Sounds like those batteries are running down a bit. Definitely think those batteries are running down. That'll do, it works. Just put that smaller propeller back on. See if it makes any difference. I do believe it's quicker with the smaller propeller. Obviously the motor's allowed to rev higher. Let's 